If you're trying to save space in your garden and want to grow zucchini vertically, we've got an easy solution. Try growing Trombocino. This is a vigorous climbing zucchini that you can grow over an arch trellis or along a fence and it's easy to grow. Before we start, you'll want to know what it tastes like. When the fruits are young and green, they taste like a zucchini, perhaps a little sweeter. The flesh is a little denser than other zucchinis, so it's great for grilling. However, later in the season, the fruits get larger and they turn a golden yellow colour. It tastes more like a butternut pumpkin or squash at this stage. You can eat the skin of the smaller fruits. The larger fruits, they'll need to be peeled. Originally from Albenja, which is between Genoa and Nice on the Italian Riviera, this is a plant that's been around for nearly 200 years, so it has stood the test of time. As for growing this plant, two plants will keep you in zucchini or trombocino for the season. We plant ours on an arch trellis and usually just one on this trellis. However, we had a late start to the season and planted two this year. You can plant the seeds directly or sow them into pots and start them indoors. Starting them indoors gives them a kick start and also protects those small seedlings from slugs and snails. Make sure that your soil is well prepared. Add some aged cow manure and a slow release organic fertiliser before planting. Once your seedlings have reached a reasonable size, you can plant them out, usually early to mid spring or after the danger of frost has passed. Ongoing care means that you do need to water the zucchini if you're not getting any rain and some liquid fertiliser every few weeks could be beneficial depending on the quality of your soil. And when we're watering, we use a watering wand. And give these little plants a little help to start climbing, otherwise they tend to shoot along the ground. And if you are starting your plants off early, and it's a little bit too cold, you could consider using a cloche like this. This is a good one because you can actually water the plants through the top of the cloche. It also gives them added protection from snails as well as providing the warmth that they need at this early stage. But once they start climbing, they will go up and you can see these strong tendrils here that will attach to anything they can get themselves around. Once the flowers start to appear, you may need to hand pollinate if bees and other pollinating insects aren't around. It's the same as you would do with pumpkins and we have a separate video on that and the link is below the notes. The fruits are ready to pick when they reach a suitable size, usually for us around 30 centimetres, 12 inches as a minimum. The longer you leave the fruit and the larger it gets, it eventually turns orange, yellow and the flavour intensifies. So we pick the fruit in two stages. One where they're green like this, and in this case, we'll grill them, and there's a little recipe for that below the notes in the video as well. Two, we leave some fruits until they get really large and develop a golden hue to them, and then we roast them as we would with a pumpkin or a butternut squash. You can use these to make a ratatouille, and for that, we suggest you use Periform Abruzzi tomatoes and we'll have a separate video coming on that very soon. You can eat them fresh or you can cook with them or you can make pastes and sauces. These tomatoes are absolutely delicious. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on growing a whole range of vegetables and indeed a whole range of garden plants. And as always, good luck with your gardening.